Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back. So last week I put out a video discussing the Power World Fusion system and what little we know about it. Now, naturally when discussing features like crossbreeding or fusion in a monster taming game, the question of evolution will come to mind. I've seen a few people in my comments asking about whether or not Power World will have evolution and today's video is going to be talking a little bit about that as well as some of my thoughts and speculation regarding the matter. That said, let's dive in. Okay, so does Power World have evolution? In short, we don't 100% know, however, there has been no confirmation that evolution is in the game, nor have I seen anything compelling arguments or otherwise for said case, especially because the various PAL deck showcases that they've been doing do not indicate that at all. None of the monsters really seem to look like evolutions of one another, and if the PAL deck showcases also line up with the actual PAL deck, which is sort of like a Pokedex, then you can clearly see that the species look nothing alike, despite coming after each other in numerical order, whereas in most monster taming games where we would have evolution, the evolutions would take up the slots after their pre-evolutions, i.e. Bulbasaur's number one, Ivysaur's number two, Venusaur's number three, etc. Now, I'm pretty certain that there isn't going to be evolution. However, like I said, it's possible. But I do want to say, don't be disappointed if it isn't, because I honestly don't find it necessary given the amount of customization that will come from the crossbreeding mechanic, which in and of itself admittedly is steeped in mystery. If you think about it, games like Serlum and Monster Crown that feature fusion as a main mechanic don't actually have standard evolution systems. And while Cassepis does have evolution and fusion, the fusions in those games are a temporary buff rather rather than something permanent. Furthermore, even games like SMT sort of treat fusion like evolution with two weaker monsters fusing into a generally stronger one. I think that the developers knew this going into it and that coupled with the fact that the game will be an action combat type game where stats have less influence on a battle just because there's a sort of extra dimension to combat that doesn't exist when you're playing something turn-based renders that type of system not necessary when all things are considered. Another action game that does have evolution is Kindred Fates, but with it being an action combat game, the developers have actually decided to make it so that evolutions play differently from one another, but are not necessarily superior. So you could potentially use a first form of a monster and it have a more speedy moveset, but that doesn't mean it's going to be eclipsed by its further evolutions. When you look at more standard turn-based games, usually that's the case. Ivysaur is better than Bulbasaur, Venusaur is better than Ivysaur, and Bulbasaur doesn't stand a chance even against stuff it is advantageous to in the third stage like Blastoise. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about the evolution system. There hasn't been any big hints towards it, and I'm honestly okay with the game not including it, as it will allow us to have a wider array of different types of monsters, and with the crossbreeding mechanic, we should still get a lot to experiment with. But yeah, that being said, if you are a fan of games like Power World or just like monster taming games in general, definitely subscribe to the channel. I put out new videos every single day. You can check out my Twitter, Discord, and Patreon linked below as well. And special thanks to the patrons, especially Jim Hamilton, Drogue Ghost, Dark Persona, Exodus, and Candy Maruncy. And I'll see you next time. Peace.